Well, COVID-19 has had a more substantial impact on adults. Um, we are seeing a growing burden of disease in children now too, especially with Delta variant now in the mix. Uh, more than a quarter of our cases in Hawaii right now are among children, and especially among children who are not yet eligible for vaccine. And Dr. Ching uh, it sees children in the hospital who end up um, in the hospital because of COVID-19. And maybe Dr. Ching, you can speak a little bit to what happens when kids do get seriously ill from COVID-19. Yes, Dr. Campbell is right. While many of the children have mild or really no symptoms with COVID-19, we do see some children who are severely affected. They may have certain conditions that make them more at risk to be hospitalized, such as asthma or chronic lung disease, obesity or diabetes, but we really can't predict because about 30% of patients that have been shown to be hospitalized had no other underlying conditions. So we can't know for sure who might get very sick. And so that's why we want to protect as many children as we can. Another factor that I think is important to consider is the, um, the relief from anxiety that families may feel about children potentially bringing COVID home from school. So the ability for children to be vaccinated can really calm many of those anxieties and reassure families that they can um, go back to doing more of the activities that they would like to, to be involved in together. There's been some concern about the mental health of our children and really just as Dr. Kemble said, the anxiety of catching COVID um, from someone else or bringing it to their uh, elderly grandparents. All of those things, uh, many of the pediatricians are concerned about that they're seeing in their patient population. And so we want to make sure we can prevent that since we have a new tool in our uh, pandemic response.